our parents taught us that you have to be a good student because if you really want to have a better life, you have to be well educated. The problem for the Negro is lifting yourself by your own bootstraps. For most of the 20th century, I should say, African Americans in the South did not have the opportunity to secure any type of higher education beyond the bachelor's degree. I knew that if I wanted to become a top-notch teacher, I needed to move further ahead. I wanted to go to graduate school, so I did some research. Any African Americans in the South desiring a master's degree, a doctorate degree, a JD or an MD or a DDS had to travel outside of the state. The nation, indeed the whole world, has watched recent events in the United States with alarm and dismay. African Americans are having to have this migration, what I call a forgotten migration, to the North, the Midwest, and the West. We declare our rank on this earth to be respected as a human being in this society, on this earth, in this day, by any means necessary. As I remember, it was a train that took me up to Boston uh, and in a segregated car. I'm currently standing here in the whites only section. I had lived all of my life in a segregated environment where those of us in the black community would resist as much as we could. They would actually make all the black people get up and move to a different seat. When I got to New York, it was like, it's a different world. But then I thought, no, I need to do something to help make Georgia better. And that's what I did after that. And we see that. We see many segregation scholarship recipients return to the South and use their knowledge and use the financial freedom that comes with their education to begin to more forcefully and openly question white supremacy in all of its evil manifestations. 